what are the reasons why this happens and what can you do about it? So the first reason that this happens is because a lot of guys think that you're going to put them into the friend zone. And so the situation that this woman was talking about was going on dates and then this guy, she doesn't hook up with a guy and the guy goes on to the next flavor uh, for like the candy shop next flavor, right? And so here's the thing, right? It One of the biggest fears that men have, one of their biggest frustrations, one of their biggest annoyances, one of their biggest fears is that they end up in the friend zone a lot with women. And if he doesn't play his cards right, he'll end up in the friend zone almost all the time. And so he needs to make sure that he is creating a situation that leads to physical intimacy or there's a really high probability chance that it's never going to lead to physical intimacy, that you're going to friend zone him and that he's going to be like, oh, well, now we're just friends and this is never going to get into the place that I want it to get to. And so most men know this. And so they will try to push things towards a romantic, physically intimate relationship as soon as possible because the sooner it gets there, the higher the probability that it will ever get there for him. And the slower that he does it, the less likely it will ever end up in a romantic situation for him. And so what happens a lot of times is that women will end up just saying no to the guy, right? And denying his advances and pushing him away and being like, no, 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 let's not do that. Or, or they'll say, you know, hey, let's just be friends first. Can't we just be friends first, right? Which is code word to a guy of saying, you're never getting anywhere <laughs> with me. You're going to be one of my orbiters forever. And it's going to be really painful for you because you're going to really like me and you're not going to get anywhere. And so you're stuck in the friend zone. Good luck with that, buddy. And the problem with that, if you actually are interested in having a romantic relationship, is that he feels that he's going to get stuck there. And so a lot of time, most men that are looking for something romantic will end up getting out of that completely, leaving and not pursuing any kind of a relationship with you at all because he doesn't want to get stuck in that position wasting time, money, resources. Because a lot of women out there, you have to realize, a lot of women will just go on dates because they're bored, right? Some guy comes and talks to them. She's not really that interested in him, but she's like, well, I've got nothing else going on. He's going to pay for dinner and pay for drinks and take me out. And it'll be far more interesting than sitting at home and watching How I Met Your Mother reruns. And so I'll go out with him, not because I'm interested in anything real with him, but because I'm bored out of my mind. And so a lot of women will go and do this, right? And guys know that women do this. And so he needs to make sure that it's leading towards something that he wants or he will use and waste a huge portion of his time, money, and resources and energy chasing after something that's going nowhere. And so if you want something different with him, then what you have to do is you have to, you, ha you have to dangle the carrot. You have to make sure that he knows that this is moving towards something real. And so what you have to do is when you set your boundary, when you stop him and you're like, Hey, no, you know, instead of it being like, a, I, I had this distinction between like a hard rejection and a soft rejection. A hard rejection is when you're like, no, I'm not interested. This is not going anywhere. Stop. Get away from me. I'm done. Right. And a soft rejection is like, eh, not right now. Like maybe later, maybe I'll be interested later. Maybe some other time, maybe another date, maybe another time. Right. And so what you want to do is you want to have soft rejections. If you're dating a guy and you want him to continue to pursue you 
but you're not ready for what he wants right now because you're still figuring out what he wants. <laughs> you're still figuring out whether you like him. You're still figuring out whether he's got red flags and whether he's toxic or what's going on with him. And so you're not ready quite yet to allow him into your, receive him in this kind of way yet. And so what you want to do is just let him know that you're still interested in being, and what you want to say is, yes, you know, like I'd, I'd love to do that with you. I'm just not ready to do that yet. When you do that, what you're basically saying is that you still got a chance, right? There's still a chance. So that's number one. He thinks that you're trying to friend zone him and he will run, 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 run.